Hey everybody, it's Doug Schaub for 3MAX Oceanside and MakeManYourHome.com. In this week's episode, we're gonna talk about Biddeford, Maine. I'm really excited about this. I love Biddeford, so let's do this. All right, everybody, today, uh, like I said, we're gonna talk about Biddeford, Maine. I, I, I'm a big fan of Biddeford. I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about the housing market down there and all that, because Biddeford, the town's doing some great things with the mills down there, and it's really kind of revitalizing. So I'm really a big fan of uh, Biddeford. The property values are really on the rise, and it's doing very well as a, as a city. I'm gonna give you some facts about Biddeford, Maine. Some of these I know, and some of them are kind of like a surprise to me, so let's see. That's the twin city of Saco. So when you think about Biddeford, it's kind of like, everybody calls it Saco Biddeford. It's in York County. It's the principal commercial center of York County. Um, it includes some great resort communities. If you're familiar with these down there, Biddeford Pool is a great area, a lot of nice homes, just a, a great community down there. Fortune Rocks and Granite Point, kind of all in that same you know waterfront area of Biddeford, some great resort communities. There's also the University of New England down there. It's a great university. We deal with a lot of the professors down there. So this is cool. I've never been to this festival here that happens every year, and I'm going to mess up the name, I think. It's La Comesse. I think I said that right. La Comesse. Maybe we could put the spelling of that right here. Welcome to the 35th annual La Kermesse Parade. How would you say that? Eh? That's the Franco-American Festival. Um, sounds like a blast. Um, I've never been there, but it sounds great. Uh, you should definitely check that out. I'm going to. Biddeford was first visited by the Europeans in 1616. It is the site of one of the earliest European settlements in the United States. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Way to go, Biddeford. Biddeford is one of Maine's fastest growing commercial centers uh, due to its close proximity to the seacoast region. And that is really true. We've been seeing a lot of great things happening in Biddeford, like I said before. Um, in recent years, like a lot of strip malls have been put in down on Route uh, 111, that corridor there. In 2006, there was a 500,000 square foot shopping center with shops at Biddeford Crossings um, open. There's like 20 stores and five restaurants cool spot. There's a lot of revitalization going on down there. With it, there's a ton of like cool old mill buildings. A lot of them are being converted into like condos, apartments, and shops, and a lot of great stuff. There's a good restaurant down there to run in the mill. Uh, my sister-in-law works there. It's a great spot, bar restaurant there, and it's kind of that's kind of in like the, those mill buildings. Just a cool, cool place. The North Dam Mill is one example of the movement, you know, offering retail stores, art studios, cultural events, upscale housing. Ding, ding, ding. It's also home to some great uh, large institutions like the Maine Southern Healthcare. Of course, the University of New England, like we talked about. It's a fast growing school. And there's also, let me see, University of New England College of Osteopathic Medicine. I think I pronounced all that correctly. Let's see, telecommunications company, GWI. Man, they've been around for a long time. GWI.net's headquartered down there. Um, there's also a lot of great community facilities like a YMCA, Ice Arena. Whoopsh. Yeah, let's play some hockey. They got good teams down there too, man. Whenever my kids play Biddeford schools, they kick our butts. The schools down there have, uh, you know, recently been recognized, um, let's see, in the S National School of Excellence. So that's pretty cool. And then, uh, you know, lastly, I'll talk a little bit again about the housing market. You know, Biddeford is really starting to do really great. History has shown that, you know, Biddeford, the housing prices hasn't risen as much as like the rest of Maine or the rest of Southern Maine. But man, they've grown leaps and bounds over the last few years because of everything that's been happening down there. So if you're looking to, you know, purchase a home in a town that's like on the on the upswing, Biddeford is the place to look. I highly recommend it to everybody that's kind of looking in that area. Really big fan of Biddeford. So hopefully this was good information for everybody. If you got any questions or you have any comments, if you live in Biddeford, love to hear from you. Comment below. Send me over an email. Send me a text, uh, however you want. And remember, if you make Maine your home, you don't have to do it alone. Really good. I'm very glad I picked the